They're a mystery called rods, flying translucent creatures that could be all around you even though you can't see them. But what are they? Unit 13's David Rose went south of the border to solve the mystery. A baffled scientist frustrate photographers. Ooh, that big. And defy capture. Called rods because of their stick-like shape, these mysterious creatures zip through the air at speeds topping 100 miles an hour. It's a total different kind of creature. They don't have wings, they don't have legs, they don't have eyes that we know of or teeth. But it's a cylindrical shaped object, like a flying pencil. As strange as they are, they've been spotted all over the world. In Scotland, darting over Mel Gibson's head while filming Braveheart. In Mexicali, flying circles around this boy. Even here in Southern California, this is footage we shot just last October in Burbank. It goes so fast, I mean, you can just to the point. Wow, that's a good footage of one, too. But of all the evidence, these shots are some of the most awesome. Ross swirling around base jumpers leaping into a cave deep in the jungles of Mexico. Evidence that suggests a colony of the creatures. To find out, Unit 13 traveled with Rod's researcher, Jose Escamilla, to Tampico, Mexico on the Gulf Coast. From there, we drove 70 miles to Aquismón, a town at the foot of the San Luis Potosí Mountains. An area shrouded in mystery, where dense rainforest meets the Quay River, where life is reduced to the basics. Then, traveling by foot, we pick our, our way through the jungle, a narrow path leading us over stunning yet rocky terrain until we finally reach our destination. Okay, Dave. This is Sotano de las Colondrinas, man. This is it. Wow. Look at that. It's huge. And that's an understatement. At 2,900 feet above sea level, the cave looks like a scar on the landscape. While it may be a home for the Raz, its actual name is the Cave of Swallows. That's because thousands of birds nest here every night. Wings whistling as they descend and into the murky depth. Swallows chasing the rods as they dive. To give you an idea how deep this cave is, it's 1,300 feet straight down. Terrifying to look over the edge. And it's deep enough that you could put the entire Empire State Building inside with room parking down below. Plenty of room for the rods to live. Why do you think rods would like this as a habitat? Well, it's heavily ionized. It's sort of, you know, like the ocean. Escamilla's theory is that they're a distinct species of their own, soft-bodied, equally at home in water or air. So, perhaps they live in the underground rivers, coursing through the miles of tunnels at the bottom of the gorge. According to local legend, the gods themselves lived in the caves down below. An another myth says so deep you can hear, hear the voices of the demons rising from below. Well, one thing's for sure, something is down there. We're definitely going to find some rods here, rod activity. And it didn't take long. Right now I'm seeing flashes of something going by, like right there. Escamilla quickly spots one, but couldn't get his camera up in time. It was a big orange one, orange rod that just went right through us, but straight up. But after several hours, our efforts pay off. This video shows rods moving back and forth across the screen. Here you can cl clearly see the membranes on each side, allowing the rod to swim through the air. Some are a few inches long, others a few feet. But how do we know they aren't just insects or lens flares or something else? Eskimi says the evidence is just too compelling. You just can't say there's no such thing, you know, because before you know it, it's going to slap you in the face, and there it is. While the trip heightened our curiosity, it didn't answer all our questions. But it's a mystery Unit 13 is determined to solve. Jose Escamilla is convinced, and he is still studying the strange phenomenon. He's working with a team of scientists now to try to figure out whether these creatures really exist or are just a trick of the camera. We're still looking at it. He's still working with scientists. We hope to have an update in a couple of months. Should be a good story. Yeah,